Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I am back with the Raspberry Pi 3 running Android TV. I wanted to test some native Android apps on this unit. And what I did was I installed the Amazon App Store. And a lot of the games that you see here don't work mainly because of the touch feature. Now, I don't know what it is, but the mouse will not work like a touch screen. So like Hungry Shark will boot up to the main menu, but I cannot click start with the mouse or my controller. So what I'm going to have to do is download a bunch of apps on my Android TV, which is an Nvidia Shield TV console. I'll have to email myself the APKs because for some reason with the new Marshmallow, I can't send the APKs to my SD card. It's just a cluster right now. But I did install the Amazon App Store and I installed a few apps. And some of these do work. First up, Minecraft Pocket Edition. Now I know a lot of you are saying, why don't you just install the Google Play Store? Well, it's not that easy. It used to be that easy back when Android was young. Now it involves pushing a system folder with the new gaps to your Android device and a bunch of stuff. And I have tried everything to get gaps working. When I do, or if somebody else has got it working, please let me know. I will be making a video as soon as I can figure it out. It would be really cool to have Google Play services and the App Store. So you may notice the discoloration we get a blue tint on a lot of these games now that's due to the GPU driver this is kind of a hacked GPU driver I am very glad it does work though hopefully in the near future we will get a new GPU driver and possibly there is rumor that Google may release an ASOP Android ROM for the Raspberry Pi 3. Now that would be great because a lot of people want a Raspberry Pi but it doesn't officially support Android and that's really why they want to get one. So right now I can't tell if that's lava or water. I'm pretty sure it's water. Oh god. Okay. but it does not run too bad with a good GPU driver and a little bit of overclock this can definitely run very smooth on the Raspberry Pi 3 we got some blue pigs over here hey little guy what's up where'd you go So for now, this is what we have. But you never know what's coming in the future. Maybe somebody will come up with a good build of Android for this with the Google Play Store and everything pre-installed, which would be great. I am surprised that it has not happened yet for the older Raspberry Pi. This is a very popular board, and there is a big community behind it. Let's exit out of here. I just press F1 on my keyboard for now. It'll bring me back to the Android TV launcher. I installed Sideload Launcher to easily access the apps that I do have here. Age of Zombies. Now this game does work. It runs very well. But I did notice something, and you'll see it right here. We'll play game. There we go. Okay, because when I, when I played this earlier, there was no ground. It was all black. So, this game runs pretty good. 
Yeah, there was no um, floor at all. It was just all black. Ah, there were no textures to it. But as you can see, oh, I'm going to die. As you can see. No! And there are a lot of zombies on screen, and it's actually handling it very well. And I'm dead. So I have a PS3 controller connected with USB here. Dude, get off of me. Get off of me. This is so great to have it running on the Raspberry Pi 3. I know um, I've been dreaming of this for a while. I do love Ubuntu Mate. I love Debian. Any kind of Linux distro I really like. But the Android version just has such a great development team with their apps, all their add-ons. And to bring that to the Raspberry Pi is just really cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is go on and try another game. This runs very well. F1 on the keyboard. So here's where it's going to get tricky. I'm not sure what's going to work. Those were the games I tested. Let's try Reaper. Now this is a 2D side scroller, so. Nope, it crashed and relaunched Minecraft. Okay. Bloons Tower Defense. One of my favorite games. I've spent so many hours playing this freaking game. And it looks like it's probably not going to launch. It relaunched Minecraft. So I guess it's keeping the, you know, the last played or executed game in its memory. Not sure how this is working. I, I'm not sure, guys, what's going to work and what's not. So let's try... Plants vs. Zombies. Ooh. Got a sideways screen here. Oh, so I did not know that this is a... Portrait game. Is this not the same as Plants vs. Zombies? And we may not be able to get this to load. So I'm kind of thinking this might be a card game of some sort. Every major franchise is a card game, so... That was worth a try. It's trial and error right now until we get a good port of Android. 
Riptide GP2. Now this crashed the system earlier, so we'll see if it does it again. This would be a cool one to test out if it runs. If we can make it through. It totally crashed the Raspberry Pi. So that's not going to work. Well, that's it for now, guys. I'm going to try some more games from the Android TV and see what happens. Hopefully, I can get some more games working. But until then, thanks for watching.